So our talk today has six readings. So what I've done is I've put the readings interspersed in the talk. Okay, so you'll see a whole load of different individuals walking up here. So I'm just going to invite Aki and Storm to come up and start us off. Thank you. So Storm's going to, Storm is part of my talk this morning, so to speak, and Aki is our first reader, so thank you. Romans 5, verse 1. Romans 5, verse 1. Since we have been made right in God's sight by faith, we are peace with God because of what Jesus Christ, our Lord, has done for us. In the beginning, when Father God created us, he created us to be his children, to know his wonderful love, to be with him with full access to his presence. His door is always open to us through his son, Jesus Christ. Alex, do you want to come John chapter 10, verse 7 and 9. I tell you the truth, I am the gate for the sheep. Yes, I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved. Jesus is saying that we're like sheep. And he is the door through whom we can come and be saved. He means that he is the one through whom we have access to salvation, to eternal life and to eternal safety. Sadly, however, the first people that he made and everyone who's been born since has turned their back on Father God and lived life their own way, which is called sin. As a result of that, because Father God is holy, and it's like the door into his presence is shut, so we no longer have access to him. Romans 5, verse 2. We have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand. John 1, verse 12. For all who received Jesus, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become the children of God. Jesus came to be the door through whom we can once again have access to our Heavenly Father and become members of his family. Romans 5, verse 8. God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Good job. He did this by living a perfect life, dying on the cross to pay for our sins, and then rising from the dead three days later. Through Jesus, there is now an open door into heaven for us. So how do we enter through this open door, you might ask? We simply need to turn away from our sins and turn to Jesus, putting our lives into his hands. If we do that, we are welcomed into God's, the Father's family. Now, difficult things will still happen while we are living on earth, but we are safe for all eternity. Some people will tell you that there are lots of different ways or doors into God's presence. But Jesus didn't say, I am a door. He said, I am the door. Open doors can give us access to good things. Jesus is the door. Through him we have access to salvation. Eternally, we are safe. Through him we have access to the love of God the Father. God is good. We belong to God's family. And we have the Holy Spirit dwelling within us, giving us God's peace, advice, and wisdom, as well as many other blessings. Will you choose to turn away from sins? Turn to Jesus the door and put your life into his hands so that you are safe for all eternity. Our last reading for today is Psalm 136, verse 1. Give thanks to God, for he is good. 
His love endures forever. Let's all say that together. Psalm 136, verse 1. Give thanks to God, for he is good. His love endures forever. Amen. I'm going to read a prayer, and if you agree with what I'm saying, if you uh, agree, then just say amen at the end. Lord Jesus, we come to you. Thank you that you died for our sins. We now turn away from living our lives just doing what we want, and we choose to follow you. Thank you that through you we are safe for all eternity. Amen.